Uh, I just want to do a quick video here to show how I place these lights here into my creative artistic montages to add another level of uh, dimension and variety and depth to these. So it's something new I've been doing just this year. So I wanted to do the supplement video for those who already have the montage DVD or for those who maybe have never seen me do the montage. kind of gives you a little idea of what the montages are. So uh, I'm going to pull up my website here real quick and kind of give you the rundown here. So this is me and if you go to freveltphotography.com you can see my regular site but if you click down here where it says photography store it will pull up this other website which is store.fravelphotography.com under photography tools you will see the artistic montage DVD and some other products that I sell I'm working on some new products as well so stay tuned for those uh, mainly composite type stuff and background so I'm always adding to this so kind of keep an eye out for that I'm always doing webinars you can kind of do that or, or keep an eye out for those as well so enough of that we're gonna quit out of here and kind of go into the montage area. So what I normally would do is kind of get the montage at this point and call it finished. But the way I light it, it has these edge lights and everything and I always felt like something was kind of missing. So I, I created these lights here in Photoshop and they don't look like much but they really add a lot which is which is super cool. So if I go back here and turn on those lights you can see the added dimension that they add to this final image so it's it's pretty cool so I'm gonna give you a quick rundown how I do that these are like the angled lights um, otherwise you can also do the straight lights which are pretty cool as well you can see how that just adds that added uh, feel to the image so I'm just going to turn these off and go back here and just show you how simple and fast these are to, to do. So right here I have the double lights and the single light. I'm going to do the double lights because I think it looks just kind of cooler for this particular image. Uh, but I have the double one too that you can use. So I'm just going to grab this and if you just grab it and hold it and drag it over the top and drop it in there you can see that that's how they come in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit Command E, which puts them on its own layer here. Kind of just flattens it. I'm going to move this down here as well to right about here. So it kind of puts it behind the actual montage itself that I already have created. And then you can either hit Overlay Mode or Soft Light Mode. Soft Light, maybe they go a little bit too far away. I'm going to do Overlay and hit command T and transform these little guys, kind of move them maybe right in that area let me see, maybe oh, I kind of like the size of them let's go right about here so I'm going to do that and I'm just going to hit command J which copies them you can see it makes copy command T to transform and then I can go up here and go like transform, flip horizontal, and just slide them over to a place that looks good. Let's say right there. Okay, let me zoom back in here. So now we have that. So what I'm going to do is just add a layer mask here and, and kind of mask out where I don't want the lights on him. So I'm just going to hit B for brush. Take my brush down. Maybe hit I'm at opacity 50. I'm going to hit 7 and give it to like 70 percent. I'm just going to go and erase these lights. Oh, Very simple, very quick. Like that. I'm going to select this other one which is the right side of the lights. Hit the layer mask paint here 
I'm going to leave a little bit more in here. I like how it's bleeding in a little bit. There, take it out of his head here. We'll get rid of that blue a little bit. If I want, I can kind of go in here too, get rid of the poles. Go on this side too. I'm just going to soften the poles here a little bit. Maybe take some of that blue out on each one. I like having a little bit of blue up on top as shown here because that kind of shows the sky kind of coming in into the warmer tones here. So it's all very subtle, but it, it tricks your eye into having having depth and having that 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 sky in landscape transition. So I'm going to go back here. I can see where I probably took away too much. I'm going to get in. And bring this back. So I'm just going to paint with, oops, hit my X key, paint with white. Bring that back a little bit more. And then there. Okay. So we kind of have the lights set there. And that looks pretty good just the way it is. But I'm going to add a little bit more glow to it to have even more atmosphere to this. So I'm just going to hit Command Shift N for a new layer. Name it Glow and then hit my B for brush and I'm already have the white so I'm just gonna bring this a little bit larger here and click here I'm at like 70 percent opacity uh, go a little bit smaller there a little bit bigger here two clicks there maybe two clicks there and I'm just gonna go through and add some light in there. So if you like that, you can add it. I'm going to turn it off. Here's without it. Here's with it. Kind of whatever your personal taste is. I might add a little bit more here. And then, of course, you can always change you know, the opacity of that a little bit if you want. You can also change the opacity of these backlights as well. If they just, If you feel like they're a little too strong, maybe. Again, this is all just personal preference, so I'm going to tone those down like that. Uh, maybe up a little bit more. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Adds a quick, you know, added dimension. The stadium lights that go in there and, and just does a great job of, of, of bringing it to the next level. So uh, here it is without. You can see it just kind of looks kind of flat now, doesn't it? And then we bring it back, and then it just, boom, it adds, adds much more dimension to everything. So uh, hopefully you like this quick little uh, added touch that I've been doing. I wanted to share it with you all. And again, check out my site, fryvaultphotography.com, if you want to learn more tips and tricks on, on different things. And that is it. Have a great night. Thank you.